All right, here's a question. When you buy something, do you own it? Do you really own it? Can you do whatever you want with that thing? Well, one company seems to think so. And they're looking to flip the entire laptop market upside down to prove so. Enter Framework, a new contender in the high performance laptop category. The Framework laptop is looking to bring the modularity of a desktop in the form factor of a thin and light 13.5 inch notebook. The Framework laptop can be upgraded, repaired, and customized in ways that no other laptop can. Framework is a company founded by Narav Patel, who formerly worked at Apple, was part of the launch and startup of Oculus, and since 2019 has left and started his own company, Framework. And the company also includes many other talented people from various Silicon Valley startups. The statement that greets you at the website reads, Introducing the Framework Laptop. Upgradable, repairable, and 100% yours. They want you to know this is different than your everyday laptop. You can upgrade everything, including the keyboard, RAM, storage, CPU, mainboard, even Wi-Fi card. A lot of people still use the 2012 Unibody MacBook Pro, including myself. Because of its easy access to the battery, sold in slots for upgrading RAM, you can get easy access to the hard drive to swap in the SSD. Also, you could swap out the Wi-Fi cards too. Now, you can't upgrade the CPU or motherboard, but it's a fairly modular device, especially considering how MacBooks nowadays are. Throughout the years, Apple, along with other laptop manufacturers, have made their devices less and less modular, less and less upgradable, less and less repairable. And Framework is looking to solve the problem that this creates. There is currently a huge problem with obsolescence in consumer electronics. Whether planned or unplanned, one of the most common failures of modern day electronics is the slow degradation of battery over time. Modern lithium ion batteries go through about 500 to 1000 recharge cycles before the battery health degrades down to 80%. At this point, the battery's health has been severely degraded and will start to affect the performance of your device. For everyday products like your cell phone, headphones, smart watches, laptops, tablets, this will take about 16 to 32 months before your battery reaches the 80% mark. And that's when your battery life will be considerably and noticeably shorter. Most devices are still useful past this point, but modern day products aren't designed to allow easy access to batteries. And even if you were able to open up your device, original quality batteries aren't made available to the consumer, so you'd be replacing your original battery with a subpar quality battery. Now let's talk about design. The screen uses a three by two aspect ratio, which compared to more popular laptops is more of a square retro design. Now a 13.5 inch three by two screen covers around 11% more visual real estate when compared to a 13.3 inch with a 16 by nine ratio. By the way, that's what MacBooks use. The taller height means there's more visual real estate for things like coding, working on websites, document editing, along with many other things. The screen is also integrated in a way that makes it extremely easy to replace. The bezels are actually magnetic and there's only four fasteners that are holding the screen in place. Now, in terms of the actual laptop, it's only 15.85 millimeters thick and weighs 1.3 kilograms. If you compare this to a MacBook Pro, which is 1.60 millimeters thick and weighs 1.4 kilograms, they're pretty much the same size. In terms of spec options, you can get it spec'd out with Intel's 11th generation i5 to i7 Pro processors with Intel's latest Iris Xe graphics built in. The laptop comes in pre-built configurations up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and up to one terabyte of NVMe SSD storage. Like I mentioned, the screen uses a three by two aspect ratio. The resolution is 2256 by 1504. This is actually the same resolution that Microsoft Surface laptops use. To round out the screen specs, it has a 1500 to one contrast ratio, 100% coverage of sRGB, and somewhere above 400 nits of brightness for outdoor use. Now, hardcore specs aside, the user experience specs are a 1080p 60 frame per second webcam, no more of that 720p webcam stuff, with hardware privacy switches for both the webcam 
and a microphone. A high cycle life 55 watt hour battery and what they're calling a great feeling 1.5 millimeter travel keyboard. The keyboard is actually customizable with different language options after you get it and the language and layout of the keyboard are actually customizable on order for the DIY version. One of my favorite things about this laptop is the expansion card system. Now they've kind of traded external adapters and dongles for internal adapters. It reminds me of the Google Project Aura, RIP. But it's cool that you can choose the ports that you actually want slash need. You could choose from a USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, micro SD, display port, and more to come or even expandable storage of 250 gigabytes or one terabyte. Wait, is there no storage in between those two options? They're also open in the spec and shared reference design to enable partners and the community to help grow the expansion card ecosystem. You could design an expansion card completely of your own. You could design something to check if your 1999 first edition mint Charizard hollow with no border shadow is the real deal or not. The framework laptop comes in a number of pre-configured builds running Windows 10 Home or Pro. And for the Tinkerer, Tinkerer, they've designed the DIY edition, which comes in a kit of modules for you to customize and assemble yourself. You can also choose your favorite distribution of Linux to install in it also. Now, the most important part about the framework laptop is that it's upgradable and repairable. I mean, talk about future-proof. The people at Framework have designed the mainboard to work with future generations of x86 and ARM processors. Also, hopefully RISC-V in the future. And they also minimize the amount of internal connectors to make the installation easy and keep the system thin. They've designed the main board in such a way that the old one can be used as a high performance single board computer all of its own. Think keyboard PCs and Cyberdex. Like I mentioned before, the laptop comes configurable up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. After the fact, it can be upgraded as high as 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to eight terabytes of storage. To go along with all that upgradability, it's designed to be repaired by the consumer, you. Everything is removable from the bezels to the keyboard to the RAM to the CPU and mainboard. There are also QR codes on every component inside the laptop, giving unprecedented access to documentation, repair guides, replacement, and upgrade parts. Framework also says they'll be posting easy to follow repair guides and videos later on. They are also opening up future upgrades to third party manufacturers. Remember that problem of obsolescence that I mentioned earlier? The upgradability and repairability of the laptop fixed that. Now, when your battery dies too quickly, you personally can swap that out for a new one. When your computer starts running too slowly for the applications or programs that you need to use, you can add more RAM or even swap out the CPU and motherboard. When you pair the upgradability and repairability of this laptop, you get something sustainable. These days, most consumer electronics are disposable one-offs by design. The best way to reduce the environmental impact of electronics is to make them last longer. Along with enabling longevity in their products, Framework is focused on improving sustainability across the life of their products. The laptop is made of 50% post-consumer recycled aluminum, and an average of 30% post-consumer recycled plastic and fully recyclable packaging materials. Think cardboard. Also, it comes with a screwdriver. Not this screwdriver, but it comes with a screwdriver in the box. Just to hammer home the point that they want you to open this thing up and upgrade slash repair it yourself. Like I said in the beginning of this video, they're looking to flip the entire laptop market upside down and they plan to release more framework products later on in the future. Think phones, desktops, maybe tablets. The laptop starts shipping summer 2021 and they're releasing it in batches to help kind of mitigate the semiconductor shortage that's going on globally. The first batch has just finished and they'll be announcing pre-orders soon. Pre-orders may even be live by the time you watch this video. I'm really looking forward to see what this product and company have to offer in the future. Some of the main questions that I have are, what are the prices gonna be? There could be a low entry cost to make repairing and upgrading the device easier for you in the future, or they could have a high entry cost to say, hey, 
you're paying extra to upgrade and repair this thing yourself. Also, how expensive our replacement parts gonna be in comparison to buying a new device outright. If you're interested in getting a framework laptop or learning more about it in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be covering news about it when it comes out. And I may even make a few tutorial videos of my own. If you found this video informative, do me a favor and hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Emmanuel C. And I'll see you, hopefully, in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.